has had a traumatic brain injury, okay? And he um, would not be safe on a treadmill, on a running belt, um, with his poor balance um, walking. So what we're going to end up using is what we have the partial body weight support treadmill. The one that we have is, is made by Lightgate and Mobility Research. Um, it's been a, a trusty one. They have a couple um, gadgets here that are well, were new as of five or six years ago when we got this. This is the yoke. And what the yoke does is when I loosen this, it allows for some vertical displacement, okay? Because when we walk, we actually move up and down slightly. It used to be when they first made these, there, there wasn't this, and so it was hard. It was fixed in place. It didn't allow folks to, to have a little bit of vertical displacement. The brakes um, are down here, so when they switch out like that, the brakes are on. Okay, we have um, the, this actually, when you plug this in, this charges the battery. In order to be able to operate this up and down, I have to unplug it. I can stand in here as if we were going to fasten you in here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down to where it's about three or four inches above Tim's height. Okay. This is actually made, this isn't a pediatric, but it's made to work with, say, your basketball athlete that's six foot eight in height, and um, maybe they are coming off a injury where they had to be non-weight bearing. And so I might have an athlete that actually uses this to run instead of uh, the example I'm giving of using it just to work on sort of walking skills. Okay? So we've got it at the right height there. The next thing that I do is I take this guy completely off. It has four belts, two around the front, two around the back. What I'm going to do is I want everything to be too long. It's always easier for me to go from being too long to tighten it up than to have one of these too short and have him already in it. So I'm going to make everything a little bit too long for him. And it's, these are just simply, it's like the, the uh, stewardess telling you to loosen your seat belts there. Okay. This is one of a few different harnesses they have. What I'm going to do is I know that right now this is the back side. Okay? Tim's a pretty fit, thin guy, so I think this is going to be too wide as it goes around Tim. Okay, what I'm going to do is, Tim, let's have you just scoot forward for kind of video sake here, a little bit, a little bit further here. Okay? And so what I'm going to do is the light gate is going to come back right around his lumbar sacrum area. Right there, and then I'm going to come around. We'll go ahead and have you pivot, Tim. Come around front, and nice. It's too loose, right? So Tim is skinnier than the last person that was on it. There's three attachments here on this side. Okay, I've actually <clears throat> been able to teach some folks that have had strokes how to put this on with one hand. Okay, and so Tim could eventually learn that. I would say it takes about three or four sessions before someone gets really comfortable even with me setting them up and they say, oh, this feels okay. So, um, so it takes a little while. What, the next thing I'm going to do is, i got Tim here, I'm going to come back around the back side and I need to keep this guy pretty snug. The middle, the middle strap here is going to be right around Tim's greater trochanter, okay, which is the prominence there around the hip. Okay, I'm going to Come put my hip right here, and I'm going to tighten from the top down. Now, the more snug that I put it on this way, the less it's going to ride up on Tim when he actually goes to use it. The harnesses that we have set up right now are actually a leg strap. There's a couple different arrangements that the folks at Mobility Research get. Um, and I think each one has its sort of pros and cons. But this one, I'm gonna stick around like here. If I needed to, I could shorten that up, and I think I will to Tim. Tim also, okay, yeah, this is a different, there's another apparatus that actually has a tail that goes underneath, and so these are, this is a little bit of a different setup.
Okay, so. So Tim, we're gonna have you go ahead and step up here. Okay, the treadmill that Tim's on will have, um, this treadmill is made by Lightgate. I'll have you come over this way just a little bit, Elena. And the benefit of this treadmill is that most treadmills start at 0.5 miles an hour. This one actually starts out, it's painfully slow at 0.1 mile per hour, okay? Um, it also has a little emergency um, emergency stop button so that if this were to unhook the treadmill stops okay it, there's sort of some redundancy in this system um, in that we've got I tend to use that safety clip more with folks who don't have the partial body weight support treadmill on because I'm more worried about them having a fall with a moving belt running So a lot of cords here. A lot of times what I'm going to do too is I'm going to bring this guy up here because if Tim is trained to do that, he's actually going to learn how to do some adjustments to turn the, uh, to increase the height or decrease the height. Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to lock these guys in around the back side. Around the back side, same thing around the front side. Okay. Let's say that Tim's traumatic brain injury has affected, whoops, bumped him in the head there, uh, has affected his right side more than his left side. I'm going to actually, what I'll do is, it's kind of like uh, screwing a bolt, and you got four different bolts that you're screwing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tighten his right side, his affected side first, so it's snug. Tighten his left side so it's snug, and then really come down. Next thing I'm going to do is going to come over here. Got him in a pretty good position. One of the key things is you notice that there's not a lot of vertical room, a lot of horizontal room here. So, Tim, I want you to hold on here, and I want you to move back as far as you can. Okay. So I want to create as much space for his. If I get someone that's six foot eight, their step length is going to take him close to close to the end here. So that's one of the things that I try to get them sort of as far back this way as we can. And then I'm going to lock the brakes. Okay. What the cue that I give is, or the question I ask rather is, Tim, I want you to tell me when you feel slightly unweighted. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to lift him so high that the heels are off the ground or that the feet are off the ground. He should still feel weighted down, but he wants to be slightly unweighted. And what happens is I keep it here because I'm either going to change it or Tim's going to slightly rise it as he settles into the light gate a little bit. What we'll see is there should be some vertical displacement of the yoke here as Tim is doing some of his walking. We'll start with, um, with a very slow... 0.1 mile an hour. Okay. So that's that's five times slower than a regular treadmill would start. And actually, for most folks, walking slower is more difficult than walking at a normal gait speed. So we're gonna bring up the speed. This would be the normal point of a of, of a treadmill starting out, and he's, this is still a slow walk. A normal walking speed is, I would say, anywhere from two to maybe three and a half miles an hour, okay? And actually, what generally you'll find is that as you approach a normal walking speed, two miles an hour, some of the time folks' gait will improve, and that might be a little bit counterintuitive. You think, okay, slower is better, but it's not always the case, okay? So I'm gonna bring this guy up to Bring it up to 1.2 miles an hour. Okay. So Tim's moving along really well. Okay. And Tim, if you could demonstrate maybe like a, a foot drop on your right side so that your toe drags as you bring it forward. Okay. Good. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to work with Tim on bringing that forward. And I can cue. Help me out just a little bit here, Tim. Okay. 
Good. I'm going to cue that. Okay. For safety, if Tim was as impaired as he was just demonstrating, I would actually have a second person over there with a speed and with an emergency button to kind of slow down. Lightgate makes something so that I actually have a stool that I can sit on and so I'm not sort of clenched over in this position. Um, what we've been doing here is I can also cue Tim to, hey, step up, step up here. Try to hit, try to hit you. Good, try to hit here, right? Okay, bring that knee up, bring that knee up as you come forward, bring that knee up. Okay, and the, the beauty of this one is that I've got Tim in a relatively safe environment and I don't need a whole host of therapists, uh, aides, helping me around a set of parallel bars and I can work on foot drop. I could work on placement of a foot that lacks proprioception. I could work on hip flexion and driving the knee forward. I could work on the pelvic rotation that's needed. So it gives me a bunch of different options there.